We're actually in a, uh, a brethren family camp in Ontario, mm -hmm. where we usually just go to have fun with the kids and play. And, yeah. But there's some meetings in the morning and evening. <clears throat> but this, this particular year, Dan Snedden came, a Scottish itinerant preacher, mm -hmm. and he shared his wartime experience in the camp. Yes. And he smuggled his Bible into the camp. And uh, over the, the years he was there, he led dozens, if not hundreds, of men to Jesus. Okay. And uh, everybody jumped out of this and said, but this, this is the real man of God. Mm -hmm. We were believers. We knew Jesus. We were born again, and we knew we had made heaven, but there was something unique about him. So we prayed, my wife and I prayed, I call it a dangerous prayer. Mm -hmm. I said, we want what he's got. Yes. Whatever it cost. Mm -hmm. So through that process, he uh, the Lord gave us a hunger and thirst for God, mm -hmm. which is still functioning, and we gave him the keys to our life. Mm -hmm. So our whole life turned upside down. And over the next uh, nine years, he took us on this incredible journey, which ended up at the airport church. Spirit fell January '94 with Randy when Randy came, of course. Yes. So, I think the biggest, well, two things, we got filled with the Holy Spirit when we were there. Mm -hmm. And then we met uh, through Jack Winter, the revelation of the Father Heart of God. Yes. So it's not about the system of religious obligations, but it's about coming into the relationship with the living God Himself. Yes. And having that uh, connection and tremendous healing mm -hmm. to our hearts. And, uh, which led to a couple short term mission trips to Central America. And the last one was in March 93. And through that process, uh, John Arnett asked us to join the pastoral team. Yes. So, but we were dramatically shaken by it. In fact, it's about love, it's not about a system of religious obligations. Yes. So that took us to a much deeper place. It's after our hearts as well. Yeah. I think as well. Because oh, yeah. it's what he's aiming at because he wants to to restore us from inside out. Yeah. And that's the beginning. People always try to focus on physical healing, for instance. Most of the times there's a, a, an inner healing first of emotions, of our will, our ratio. And then it goes outwards, reflects in physical healing as well, or is it? It's actually both. Yes. Yeah. But the first thing is heart healing, I think. Yes. Getting established as sons, not workers, but sons yes. and daughters. Coming into sonship. Mm -hmm. There's a rest in that. Yes. We don't have to do stuff for love. We do stuff because we are loved. Yes. Now, uh, what verb would you use then? Because it's often said, well, God uses us, but use, the verb use is a bit of a negative connotation sometimes. He wants to co work with us. Yeah, I was going to say he partners with us. Yes. We don't have to do anything for love, but because we are love, we are available then to partner with him mm -hmm. as he builds his kingdom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.